Good morning. Hope you're having a wonderful day and a good weekend. Um, just check it out real quick. This is where I'm at. Bottom of the hill there is Chiriaco Summit gas station and Foster's Freeze and anyway. I got a visit a couple days ago from the ranger. Let me know that there was a 14 day limit. I've never had that done to me before in all the times I've ever been at BLM. And there's some guy that's been parked over across that he never visited. I don't know. He's been there longer than me. But I guess if you pop up a tent, they think you're building the foundation and they want to kick rocks. I just thought that was an amazing interaction with the guy. I didn't want to, I didn't feel like getting into it with the guy. I was just like, yeah, I've been here a week. And he's like, well, there's a 14 day limit. Of course, his, his excuse to come rolling into my camp was, we just want to make sure everybody's okay. <sighs> I know. I've been hit with some negative waves too lately. I got 15 cents in my bank account. Yeah. I'm out of food, so that's exciting. But I'm not giving up. This, is, this video is specifically let you know that not to give up, no matter how dire the situation, and regardless if you're homeless and, and nobody gives a shit if you have any place to go, because apparently in America there is no designated area for homeless Americans. If you're a citizen American and you don't have a place to stay, you're fucked. Or you're sleeping in a tent on an uh, overpass until they decide that you've been there long enough and then they can... You come home one day and all your shit's in a back of a garbage truck being hauled off. So that's got to be fun for a lot of human beings, and I feel bad for them. <sighs> it's rough. It's not easy. I'm not having a good time. But I'm still surviving. I still got my vehicle. We still have a little bit of gas. I still have a bunch of paintings in my tent that I can sell. I'm going to go down and see if I can't make some money so I can eat today. That would be awesome. <laughs> yeah. I'm not crying in my pillow yet. Surprisingly, try not to do any panic attacks. Anything like that, you know, you always got to stay positive no matter what's going at it. I'm still breathing, I'm still kicking. You know, there is light shining in the world. You know, despite the, the assholes that come by and tell you you can't stay there. I'm sure he's not an asshole, but yeah, that was bullshit because I noticed that. Because the gentleman that I was staying at, at the camper down there, he goes, yeah, that guy, because I was excited about maybe hanging out here for a minute, selling my art, you know, so I don't have to travel and waste my gas. And he's like, yeah, that guy up in the RV, he's been there all winter. How come that ranger didn't go knock on his thing? Like I said, there, I think there's prejudice against people that are homeless, especially if you are visibly homeless. They don't want that. They don't want people, they don't want that. Not in our communities. They don't want people, they don't want tent cities. But it's not my fault I'm homeless. It's not my fault the government is incompetent and they don't know what to do with their citizens or help them out. Or And that's another problem is I, I don't wear masks. I have one good lung and I'm not going to pass out while I'm working because I, you know, I'd honestly tell somebody, you know, you hire me and I, you force me to wear a mask halfway through the day. If I end up passing out and bumping my head, I will sue you. <laughs> I hate to say it, but... And I don't do, I don't do the snake shot, so that's kind of another thing I'm about to deal with. <sighs> so I don't wear masks, and pretty much every state requires you to wear a mask if you want to work, which is really fucked up. And yeah, so it's not all bad. Um, I'm actually gonna I'm gonna read you a poem real quick before I get out of here and and <laughs> and go try to drum up some grub with my art. I'm still sticking to it, man. I'm a stubborn Taurus, right? Okay. My poem is called Albatross. It's very fitting for this moment. <laughs> Trust me. Wishing I could fly from the ground. Angry hands that, that hold me down. Making a point to bruise my will. Simple dreams silenced by complicated kills. Born with eyes that shine to see the darkness in their minds. Mm-hmm. Hard as they try to build the cage, I soar to freedom through fingers enraged. Mm -hmm. Tricks they use to tear me down give me wings that know no bound. That's my poem. Uplifting. I know there's a poem about an albatross that where they kill it or whatever. I didn't read the poem, and I did it on purpose because 
I wanted to write my poem. Mine's a more positive version. Anyway, I will read the poem eventually. I just decided I'd write mine first because it was positive. It's about escaping your bonds and soaring the freedom. And God bless you and the universe loves you and so do I. <laughs> I know I ain't got much. I ain't got much of a love for you, but you know, I can't buy you dinner, you know, or a fancy house or a car, but I love you. Sometimes that might be enough, right? Okay, wish me luck because I'm going to need it. And good luck to your situation, whatever it is. Hopefully you're you're doing well and you're not suffering or going without. But we'll see. You're awesome. Let's go get better. <laughs> anyway, you have a wonderful day. I love you. God loves you. And the universe is really digging you. So keep that high ground. Don't let things get you down. Stay positive, and yeah, you're awesome. You're a miracle, so rock it, okay? Okay, have a wonderful day.